breaking news, Venom Let There Be Carnage delayed again by Sony. We've got the brand new release date for Venom 2. And if Let There Be Carnage is being delayed yet again, does that mean Spider-Man No Way Home will be delayed by Sony also? We'll break it all down for you next on Comics Pro. What's up guys, Comics Pro here. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Breaking news, Venom 2 Let There Be Carnage has been delayed for an unprecedented third time. The Venom sequel was originally scheduled to be released on October 2nd, 2020, but was delayed until June 25th, 2021 due to the worldwide pandemic. Then, not surprisingly, Sony delayed Venom 2 yet again, this time to September 17th, 2021. And now, with the rise of the Delta variant killing the box office numbers for DC's The Suicide Squad, Sony has taken the unprecedented measure of delaying Venom Let There Be Carnage yet again. We've got the new release date and the possibility of a delay for Spider-Man 3. But first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we're giving away another Marvel Titan series Sam Wilson Captain America action figure from the Falcon and the Winter Soldier series. If you want to be entered to win, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button, leave a like and a comment down below, and remember, because it's truly random, the more videos you comment on through August 31st, the better chance you have of winning. So what's going on here? Why has Sony delayed Venom Let There Be Carnage for the third time in a year and a half? And why might this delay cause Sony to push back Spider-Man No Way Home until 2022? The answer is simple. With the rise of the coronavirus and with consumer confidence in the safety of movie theaters decreasing, Sony is playing it safe and pushing back their release schedules in order to protect Venom 2's potential box office. The first Venom film had an astounding worldwide gross of $855 million back in 2018, and Sony was anticipating that Venom 2 would score a worldwide gross in excess of a billion dollars. But based on the recent lackluster box office performance of Marvel Studios Black Widow, Sony got cold feet. Before the worldwide pandemic, Black Widow was expected to gross more than a billion dollars at the box office, but so far it has only earned $360 million, a pathetic number by Marvel standards. In comparison to Black Widow, the far less popular Captain Marvel movie grossed for Disney and Marvel more than a billion dollars at the box office pre-pandemic. Further giving Sony a bit of pause was the box office performance of DC's new James Gunn Suicide Squad film. Despite costing $185 million dollars to make, the Warner Brothers film has only grossed about $72 million so far. As a result, and here's the big news, Sony just pushed back the release date of Venom Let There Be Carnage to October 15th, 2021. Now that's only about a two-week delay, but mark it down on your calendars in pencil, not in pen. That's because Wall Street analysts are speculating that Sony is going to delay the movie yet again, pushing Venom 2 back to December 17th, 2021, the same release date of Spider-Man No Way Home. If Sony actually delays Venom for a fourth time to December 17th, that can only mean one thing, that Spider-Man No Way Home is going to be delayed also, this time to 2022. The last Spider-Man film, Far From Home, was a billion dollar blockbuster and with all the hype surrounding the new film's Spider-Verse multiverse plotline, with the rumor that Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man and Andrew Garfield's Amazing Spider-Man are set to crash into the MCU, Sony is not going to take any chances. So when would Sony shift Spider-Man 3 to? The early speculation is summer 2022. But right now, it's pure speculation. So leave a comment down below and subscribe to the channel to enter our giveaway. And click to the right for my Suicide Squad 2 post credit scene breakdown and ending explain video. And click to the left for my five Marvel movies to watch before Black Widow. Thanks for watching. This is Comics Bro.